Hey everyone, it's Gary here from Echidna Sewing. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the optional magnetic frames for the Halo 12 needle embroidery machine. So there are three frames that come with the optional magnetic kit for the Halo. Three different sizes, of course, and uh, we've got the 40 by 50, the 40 by 80, and the 140 by 80. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, we'll pop these down over here, is that um, they're very thin and uh, they're designed to be able to get into areas that are, are kind of difficult to embroider. Particularly good also for embroidering things that the fabric can easily get damaged through hoop burn, etc. Now, the way they work is we're going to need to take the uh, embroidery um, arm driver off the machine and we're going to put one of these on. But before I do, I'll show you. So that comes with a complete set of magnets and these kind of form the clamping part of the frame. So I've got four of these magnets here with me at the moment. They're very high powered and they basically clamp on to the frame like so. So imagine if we've got our fabric in there, these magnets are so strong they hold anything in place. So we can take that one off and put it there and this one off and put here and this one goes here. So instead of having one complete magnet ring that goes on, you've got these, these locatable, placeable magnets. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load this uh, frame on and show you how to put some fabric down there and how these magnets will actually clamp and then quickly stitch something out. It's a pretty simple process, but it's nice to actually see it happening. So I'll pop that back over there. There's a, also another part to the kit and that's this uh, little extension table and that slides over the free arm and what it does is it stops the magnetic frame from being pulled down too hard on the free arm of the machine and uh, there's a couple of screws that are in your kit to that will come with this to actually position this in place so right now let's go and grab our three mil allen key which we're going to need to take this off and i'll just quickly take this off now remember um, it's uh, often easier to take the frame off with the machine switched off so we'll take these arms off. So I like to switch the machine off, move the frame a little bit, and I'll quickly undo these screws and take them off so we just... Okay, so we've taken the driver arm off and now we're going to attach the little um, extension uh, table for the free arm. We will need the two black screws that come with the kit. Now the easiest way to do this, you will need the two and a half mil Allen key that came in your kit. So the easiest way to set this screw in is put it on the Allen key first, just locate it where it needs to be and just tie, just put it in there, but don't tighten it, just a few turns up and we'll do the same thing for the other side. And then just a few turns up there. So you'll notice there's two little lugs on this extension table and they go just above the screw heads that we've just put in. So you just simply position those little cutouts over the screws and then just tighten those screws up. Make sure that's fairly firm because you don't want that coming loose. Whoopsie daisy, let's just get in there. So tighten that up. It's a good idea to use the length of the Allen key just to nip that up once you've got it in position. And that's all we need to do to set the table in place. So now we're going to take this hoop number eight and attach it to the base plate on the driver arm there. Now this, remember, does move from left to right. When the machine is switched off, you can move it. So just make sure it is all the way to the left. This is the way I'm doing it. So you take the screws that were um, holding the driver arm in place and just screw the two outside ones in a couple of turns, just like that. You don't need the center screw. You're only using the two outside screws. Don't need to screw them down any further than that. And then this unit, this frame, can then just simply slide in and position there like that. Take your Allen key. Okay, so we've got the frame in position. We've switched the machine on. And now it's a matter of selecting the appropriate frame. Remember the, the frames are numbered. This is in fact frame number eight. So uh, you'll find that quite easy. When you go to your machine, just go to your frame options, we move options there, select the frame, and we want frame number eight. Now what that means is the machine now knows exactly what frame you have in position and what size it's, it's capable of stitching at. It'll now center itself. And now if I want to load my fabric, I can actually push the frame forward a bit. Let's go back the other way. 
whoops, gone a bit too far there, which is one of the real good features of this machine. If you, once you've selected a frame and if you go out of position, it won't let you go any further. So you can't run over the frame. Now what I've done is I have a piece of, um, oh, like a velour corduroy type of thing here. Now this would be a typical fabric that would be difficult to hoop because it would get, it would suffer from hoop burn. So for me to actually position this on the frame, all I need to do is put it where I want it. I'm gonna go this way actually. Now you'll notice I do also have my LED pointer is switched on. So I'm just going to position that where I want it. So we grab our magnets that, uh, and there's quite a big kit of these that come with the uh, magnetic frames. And basically these just simply sit on the frame. So you position them where you want them. They will sort of jump to position. And I'm gonna do the two sides first. So I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and firm. My fabric is nice and uh, nice position there. Try and keep out of the way. So that's in position. I'm going to put this one down the front here. Let's put it the right way up, helps. And the one at the back. Now, believe it or not, that's quite firm. It's it, The fabric is going to go nowhere. And uh, that's not going to damage the fabric. It's not going to give, present any hoop burn. And all we need to do now is select where we want to sew. Now you'll see that I'm, I've got the image of the frame on screen, so I'm not kind of centered, but if I hit the center button, that means the word halo is going to be right in the center of the design. And we are pretty good to go. Now this is fairly thick, and this is where um, LED pointers don't become that handy because the thicker the fabric, the, the LED pointer is not gonna be in exactly the right place. So I'm not actually going to reference that. I'm going to go back to needle one because I always like to use needle one when I'm setting a design. So let's shoot back there. That helps me identify where I am. And I'm, I'm kind of, I know I'm centered because I haven't moved the frame, but that's in position. And if I wanted to stitch that now, uh, all I've got to do is choose my color and start stitching. But it is, it has got quite a nap to it, this fabric. So I am definitely going to use a topping. And on this one, I'm actually going to use a heat away topping. Um, I could actually put that under the magnets if I wish. And it would be just simply a case of removing that magnet. I'm just going to pop that down there. And this is the beauty that by moving one magnet, nothing else is moving. Everything's still in position. So I can then take this magnet out and then just put that back in position there. Pop that magnet into place. The, uh, my topping's not going to move. I'm just going to choose white as the color. So we will get out of my needle selection mode and I'm just going to, now remember, I can manually override it and just choose white, but I'm still in auto mode. So I'll just go back to my thread palette, choose white, click okay. And uh, I know it's going to be quite okay where it's stitching and now we have to go to drive or embroidery mode. So we hit the little red button there, click yes, okay. Click the green tick and we can start stitching. So there you go, that's finished. Now, here's the beauty of these magnetic frames. To take the fabric out or the, the item that you're working on out, just remove the magnets. It's that simple. Now, they are strong magnets, so they will try and, and get attracted to each other. And I, and I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, should I use magnets near my machine? Um, as, yes, these days, modern machines are fine. Just, you know, obviously treat them carefully. They're very strong magnets. So we slide that off. If you put them anywhere near each other, they're gonna to jump together, of course. So uh, there's one more at the back here. I'll just grab that out. And of course, then we can just take our fabric out. Now, of course, I've got some heat away on there. So I would just tear that away. Whatever's left, I just hit it very quickly with a hot iron and that will disappear. But um, a perfect stitch out, as you'd expect. And absolutely no hoop burn on that fabric. And if I put that in a normal hoop, there's a good chance I'd have a really big scored ring around there because it is a, a velour corduroy type of product and uh, that, that's a difficult thing to hoop, of course. So magnetic frames, three sizes, they are an optional kit, but very affordable and uh, very easy to use. And of course, just repeat, reverse the process to go back to the normal, uh, the normal embroidery hoops. So uh, hope you found that useful and uh, happy embroidering, cheers.